Hello guys and welcome back to Fossil Fighters. In the last episode we got started into Virusar Island and got introduced to a whole bunch of new people and really got into the main basic basics of the game of fighting mechanics in this game. So this episode we starting in, we're starting into chapter one, missing medals. Hello, anyone at home? Drago, I, for, I forgot a few a few things. I do that sometimes. As the thing is here again. This is your fighter journal. My fighter journal is really is really useful. It tells you what you're supposed to do next. Also, there's a sonar sonar system to find fossils and a pickaxe for digging for digging them out. A sonar a sonar device that takes objects buried on the buried on the ground, including fossil rocks. You should get some practice first, friend. I recommend going to try it out the at the trial dig site. Go to, go to Ben Giner. Giner? <laughs> you don't forget all these weird names. In the park area, she'll show you the ropes. Anyway, I gotta go back to the fossil center. Stop by if you have any questions. And that's it. So now we gotta, now we actually, now we got these icons I was waiting for. The virus, I just wanted the virus icon. Tells you a list of the other revival sorts you have at this point. You can sort it by order as well. I don't really have much yet, so it's not really much to show you right now. And this one. Okay, now yeah, these are the menus I was opening for. Okay, I kinda got a kind of hit. So now I can show us all the fossils we have. So we got the we got the T-Rex legs. Still kinda sucks you don't get a head. You know, like, if you get a head now, it's just like it'd be powerful, but not powerful. <laughs> You don't get it like I, I don't get the rest of it until the, in in the game. So now they now they didn't after the game, so I don't know. It's really weird to get it now. So now yeah, the fossil tells you what basically what you're doing next. It's just like if you didn't play this game in a while, in between, you could just like you could go to this and tell you all you what you're supposed to do next. We got our license. We got the normal so normal sonar and a pickaxe. We're well, going to get used to that now. So. Let's get going. Let's not dick. Let's just stay around in our room for now. Let me try to get all the juice. Greetings, Drago. I wish you'd acquire your, your fighting license so quickly. It's a breeze, really. Please allow me to explain briefly about the status menu. Uh, go over to the screen and review in, in the status. To open it, the status menu, press X or tap the orange icon in the lower right corner of the screen. So yeah, it's basically telling you what I just said already. The status menu provides information of the level, money, and FP along with your case and contents of items. You also can, also can see your dino medals you're currently carrying. Also features in the, also feature another feature is in your fighter journal display your important items list. The fighter journal suggests what you're supposed to do next. Quite useful when you're stuck. You can also view your dino medals by checking the dino medal screen. With the dino medal screen, press Y or tap the green icon in the lower left corner. Would you like to hear my expression? No. Thanks for your time, I'll let you be on your way now. Yeah, I think game's a little tutorial heavy at this point. Get your bitch gotta teach you how to dig up the dig up fossils by yourself now. Dig up fossils, so they can actually get more virusaurs. So this is what I'm like after this part, this testing is gonna be. I'm the cleaning I'm gonna do is just gonna be mostly cut out until I show up what we're gonna do. Just like the revival and everything we're doing, I'll show those. But if we're getting the part, you know, I'll just talk about that more when I get more into it. So you're the fighter, huh? My name is Ben Ginner. No jokes, please. I'll teach you all the tool show the rookies who come here for basic digging of fossils. So we go to the trial dig site and get some hand on experience? Yep. Great, let's go. Alright, let me show you how to use the sonar. Looking at the sonar readout the sonar readout on the top top upper screen. The yellow R the yellow arrow in the middle shows your location. Press on R to, this, to activate your radar and display dots when something is buried. That something could be a fossil, fossil rock, or just a normal rock. You don't know until you dig it up. 
If you go to a spot marker in the dock, proceed to swing your pickaxe and dig it up. While doing so, be careful not to stand directly on top of the location under indicated by the dot. Start in, stop in front of the dot and then press A. Now let's practice. I'll break three rocks and you have to go find them and dig them up. And she's gonna slowly place them. Very, very slowly. She can't run like I can. She doesn't have running shoes. Yeah. Okay, use a sonar. Use a sonar now to find out three where rocks are buried. I even let them. Think, I'll even let you keep any fossils you muscle rocks you dig up. See, like if you press on R and you see the scanners, go to the dots. You need to get up. We got a spin. We got these spin. I said. Congratulations. Exactly. What must tell you do. Look at the other fossils you already revived. Hmm. But. You can clean the same fossil again for more points. The quality of quality fossil so you can integrate more genetic data into the survival so to make it stronger. Anytime you want to dig up in your store, dig up a store in your case, accessible by pressing X. When your case is currently your case can hold, currently hold eight fossils. Beyond that, you are forced to throw something away. Yeah, we'll be able to get more and get more to be able to upgrade our case. So. Right now we're kind of stuck with six. And a bit of an annoying thing. We pick up normal rocks. Yes, unfortunately you pick up normal rocks to tap from time to time. Don't let it slow you down, just keep digging it on. Yeah, that's a bit of an annoying thing about this when you're doing fo only getting fossils. I'll tell you, let me just say this now, later on in the game you'll be able to not pick up, make you, the raid make your radar unable to pick up any normal rocks. But that's not like you to like really later in the game at this point not really too late we're gonna get in like i think the next chapter so that's a fossil you just you have to revive who knows what you've been fossil rock until you clean it when you're done here just want you to go take it over to the fossil center for cleaning now you feel now you feel from to roam around and dig up fossils in this area take the fossil rocks you dig up in the fossil center for cleaning dig dig clean revive that's a plot of a large stable Stable of puff survival swords and success in battle. When you're ready to leave the, the trial dig site, let me know. All right, now we just can now we can just really dig up all these fossils that she apparently put in the ground before before we went back. The screen turned back right, so there's like 22 fossils here. There's spinax fossils, part of spinax fossils, and one more new one. I'll be showing another side on my layout where. When we get to when we get to new when we get to areas we get to see what the virus stars are. This one I won't really count because it's really just two virus stars here, which we're gonna dig up anyway. Of course, I'm close to this LP. We're talking about getting all these virus stars. I I'm still questioning if I'm gonna get every one of them. I'm good at my, the ones that digging up. I will get, but there's actually some in the after game you can get as well. But they're kind of a bit of a pain to get. So I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get a try. I'm still going to be thinking about it though. Unless I like to do things 100%. This game is kind of, to get all the, get all the survival swords for the after game, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Take your new fossil rocks to the fossil center for cleaning and reviving. When you're done cleaning and reviving, come see me and we come back to the dig site. Okay. So I'm just going to clean these guys. Like when, I'm doing, when I'm doing these cleanings, I don't really... It's honestly not gonna be entertaining to me seeing these kind of like seriously later in the game. I'm gonna have like eight of these now, but they're in the game. This could be way more than just these guys, so trust me, I would not recommend. I mean, I'm, I'm not recommending. I mean, I would not want to show you guys me cleaning every fossil, especially when later in the game I'm gonna have like a ton of them on me at some point. Well now, well now, Jacko, let me introduce to kill out. 33N, he's gonna be assisting you you with cleaning. Pleased to meet you, B. I'm K I'm KL 33N. At your service, boob. KL 33N will help you manage your fossil rocks and clean fossils. Talk to KL 33N whenever you want to bring the new fossils for cleaning. He will, he will help you get everything clean and revive in the way that they should be. I'm an arrival when it comes to, revi to revival. Ready to serve. Beep. K 
KO33 and it allows the program to observe your cleaning and learn over time. If he watches you long enough, he'll be able to be able to let you him handle all the cleaning for you. I will do my best. This is, I can currently clean I can I currently learn faster when watching the master. <laughs> you got to give him some credit for his eagerness, eh? I'm sure you guys will get it wrong great. Okay, I'll be back to work. I'll be back to work. But, but my lab is just next door. Stop by if I have any, if I have any questions. For the third time. Alright. Tonight, you can talk to him if you want to. But now he'll tell you about certain things. Like he said, he'll watch over time, so... Well, I told you talk about that, it was when I start cleaning. I think the first fossil, he should say something about that. Um... I might just show cleaning both of these guys. There's only two fossils I'm getting, I'm getting right now. We just clean the fossil legs right off the... These T-Rex legs off the bat. Yeah, I can see. I, you know, I think I would recommend doing this now, but since the rock is so hard, it does take a while to freaking mine it. So, oh sh shoot! I just hit a bit of it. Hopefully, it didn't, it didn't really hurt that much. Sadly, good. I mean, not sadly, good enough. Got I don't. I wasn't gonna hit the double dirt because it's so hard. I can just hammer it. Cause yeah, there's gonna be times you gotta. Like, the rock can be kind of doing for the practice, the, the practice test. It's been, it's been, the soft, the rock I made has been kind of, kind of soft. But this time, it's like the difference in just kind of just mining all these rocks is that the rock, the stone, will actually have different text, uh, different textures. So this one's actually very hard. This is gonna be something that's gonna be really, really soft. I think it'll be, it'll be one that's gonna be like a little bit softer than the other ones. I mean, it's gonna be one that's gonna be extremely soft, but you don't get into that until like a really late game. I'm going to be so used to that mine using the hammer. They get a soft one, so you instantly destroy the fossil. So yeah, they troll you like that, which is not funny. If you can break a fossil, you didn't even expect it. You can't even tell the texture is until you start mine drilling it. So yeah, there's going to be some fossils that's going to be doing that to you, which is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, I think I don't really recommend doing this now. End up uh, drilling up all these stuff because I said you get these till later on, and at this point in the game, you'll get better tools. So, I still got some success though, <laughs> even I didn't feel it completed. You can't remember the fossil you need to acquire until you have the head fossil. I gladly start a fossil until you wait for the head. Clear work. Yep. Alright, so let's actually start on to getting the revival here. So we got a new dinosaur head, so it's a new day and Vibrosaur, of course. Pretty, and that was just a simple, that's an easy one. Shenzhen head. I did not be revived. Be, be, be commencing revival. I'm commencing my revival. Hello, Shenzhen. Outstanding. Outstanding. Shenzhen lands a lot of critical hits, but at a low LP ranking, 
makes it very, very vulnerable in the AA, in the AZ position. Be careful. Yeah, so this little guy is not really the most powerful, but because he's not so powerful, he can just, he basically does a lot of crits. He uses a low, he uses a lot of, he doesn't really use much FP as well. So, he's really, like, again, he's really more for support. At least at this point in the game, we'll use him for support. He doesn't really have much of a source that you can put much in support anyway. It's much better than Spinax. Spinax. Uh, you can also store fossils for you. Oh no, he, no, he tells me about it. Oh, never mind. He told me about the store fossils. See, I currently have one, which is a little bit of T-Rex fossil. Oh, I must forgot. I need to explain the fossil rock kept in, kept in your case. Really? Look at the top screen. <laughs> Breaking four walls, we just turn around. Yeah, how I'm doing this is kind of weird looking because it should be on the top screen, but because of the layout, but oh well. The rocks in a new, the new, a new icon. Hold fossil rocks to the type and you're not successfully cleaned. Those points, con those points value contain fossils that you have previously have revived. The, the point, the number PT is the uh, highest Highest point value in the achieved so far in the clean in the cleaning. These numbers will help you decide if a fossil to keep or whether to leave it alone for others. Bap boop. All right. So yeah, I just tell me about just like there's gonna be you gotta have like. Oh. What the? Oh. oh hello. What is this now? I'm like walking up to. Just comes up in here and just puts the machine down and saying hi. Ah, Drago. But this Vivastor Management Machine RV MM holds your Vivastor medals for storage and organization. It also is used for making it to make teams and letting you match up three Vivastors into a fight together. Lastly, this is where you can select which team you want to carry around with you. Hi, then, Drago. This is going to get you to. Up to speed on how to use the VM, VMM. What you see, here, what you see first of all is the tiles, the, 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 the team stock screen. Team information will be displayed on the top screen. The slot under the star mark, and mark is the team that you're currently carrying. Get the two slots are reserved for other teams that you want to make. Next, you want to show off how to select whatever sort of magic for your team. But this is a team formation screen. Touch, the touch screen is where you make all your you make all your selections. All you need to do is just all you need, all you need to do is to make a team. It's just select the vibes so you move to the space into the top screen. You absolutely have to have to have a driver store in in the red leftmost area. Tap OK to the bottom. Tap OK to the bottom of the screen to finish editing your team. If you want to quit, just tap the back button back. To return to the team team slot screen without making any changes, make any changes, and that's how you do the VMM. Would like to switch it again? No. When you have a new revive revive source, you might be a good idea to assign them to your team now. Oh, you should also know that the VMM usually usually VMMs are are at dig sites. Ready right, then? Good luck. Good luck to you, Drago. Nice. So now we got. Now we can organize it. I just guess we could choose something bad because, you know, unlike Pokemon, they automatically yeah, they automatically are not in your team. So you gotta actually you have to keep. Oops, I did not want to do that. You automatically have to put them in yourself. As soon as you get the new vibe, so you have to go to the VM and then just put them in like that. It doesn't automatically put them in, which is kind of stupid. But yeah, what you gotta do? You can actually name them as well. I'm just gonna just name it a bit. Fix it up later. Just right now, I'm just gonna call it this. There you go. I'm never really gonna, I'm never really gonna use the other slots because honestly, it's just like it just basically it's basically presets in a way. 
to deck against switch on what team you want to use, but honestly, it doesn't really, you know, unless, it's just basically your preference of fighting, really. I really don't really change, uh, use the other slots, of, really, I just don't use one stack, I just ch change the vibe swords in that one area, in that team selection slot, and then that's it. Nothing much to do, so, well, we're done here, so let's just go back and, let's go back and see if we can get any more fossils from there. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just two, but you never know, let's go back and see what happens. Someone else is here now. Hey, what's up? Hello. Oh, hi there. You must be new. I'm Halt. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. By the way, you only you only fought one-on-one -on -one battles so far, right? Let me show you about the deal with two-on-two -two battles. What tutorials? All right, I'm explaining two-on-two -two battles. Time to explain the, explaining the red, the red, blue, and green areas zones that the virus are standing on. The red zones are the attack area. The attack zone. Vibrosaurs in the attack zone can attack Vibrosaurs in the for their opponent's attack or their support zones. The blue, the blue zones are the support zones. Vibrosaurs in the support zones will only can attack Vibrosaurs in the opponent's in the attack zone. The also support zone Vibrosaurs do less damage than they would do in the attack zone. On the other hand, your Vibrosaurs Swords will take less damage when you're in the support zone. The green zone is the escape zone. Vibrosaurs Swords moving to the escape zones can't use skills, but they also can't take damage. Hey, did you know that what your Vibrosaurs Swords can next to do good just now? They are support effects. Support effects are extra effects that the, 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 S, the support zone Vibrosaurs Swords perform automatically. Note that the arrows icon displayed in over the attack zone at Vibrosaur. The arrows, the arrows pointed up means an increased power. The arrows pointing down means decreased power. This is the stop command icon which you can which you use to move your Vibrosaur between the zones. It, it moves the attack zone Vibrosaur to the escape zone. And it moves the support Vibrosaur to the attack zone. Swapman doesn't really use any use any FP. Try try to swap command. That's some good swapping right there. <laughs> Survivor Swords then move to the escape zone. And I unironically move to an open support zone two turns later. That's about all about for swapping. I'm gonna wrap so I'm gonna wrap it up with something very important. These Vibrosaur attacks only one time per turn. We know this already. Depending on how much FP you have left, you'll be able to be able to attack from different Vibrosaurs. Also, whenever you lose a Vibrosaur in the battle, you will you'll get a big chunk of FP to help you to fight back. It keeps things interesting since knocking out knocking out the Vibrosaur might set you set it up set up its friends for a big attack. I bet you can tell that this is gonna be fun, can't you? One more thing, there, there'll be there, there'll be a few icons and arrows and such that you don't know. We'll cover those later. All right, time to test you, test out your skills. Don't think you'll take it easy on you, rookie. Well, that's the spirit. Let's do it. How about Let me tell you about this formation screen. Uh, like I said, I, trust me, we're good. after this point, we're going to be done with these, all these tutorials. This is kind of a little heavy on you because this is like a new game, so... Well, at the point, at the point when this game was coming out, it was new and it's just so much stuff. Before battles, you can choose the Vibrosaurus in the information screen. The top screen is your opponent's. The bottom screen is your Vibrosaurus. The right, the right area is the attack zone. The Vibrosaurus will be there and be on the attacker. The blue, the blue areas are the support zone. Vibrosaurs can be assisted as an attack zone Vibrosaur. And the green area is for your is for your reserves. Vibrosaur can be sitting in reserve I can, can sit out and current battle out. Only Vibrosaurs used in used in the battle it'll be those in the A the A Z and the S Z. Vibrosaurs in the reserve cannot participate in battle, but they can't get hurt there. Be sure to new do you have any dire metals to set into the A Z and the S Z positions? Choose carefully because once you put battle starts, you can't swap those Vibrosaurs. When you're ready, when you're ready, when you're all set, select ready when you begin to begin the battle. All right, let's get started. 
Yeah, we can't really much do swapping out because it's all the Vivasaur swords we have at the point, so we're only doing two on twos. So yeah, you can tick here, check what the Vivasaur has. The bottom screen tells you their, their moves. Don't really have much. We don't have much ourselves either, so <laughs> can't really see. So yeah, you can see about the support effects over um, this is on the bottom part of the virus or the virus or list. You can actually give them buffs. And then like Chan Chan's gonna be good for the support because she boosts five percent five percent every stat. So which is really good for Queen Axe. In the attack zone. So let's just do this. Not really much to attack. Not much to do. So, like I can put Chan Chan in the front and make Spanish to do support, but I've got Chan Chan doesn't do much damage anyway, so it's not really worth it. And we start with a crit. Thank you very much. Jeez. So in that case, you can see the buffs you get from being 5%. So we just do a lot more damage. We do a lot more into that dodge stat. Which is really handy. I'm surprised they couldn't have it themselves. Oh, yeah, they have buffs. Oh. Yeah, V-Raptor doesn't have any one, so that's why. If you chase him around, he would make sure you but I guess put him in the front because reasons. He can't even hit me either. Uh, he can't even jab me either. Oops, that's not okay. I'll just start with this then. Let me bite you real quick. And that was a one shot. <laughs> Give a crew right back. Jeez. What you gotta do now? Just gotta claw me because you can't really do much. Right back, and you should be it because this game is just about to be very short. No, you're not done yet. Well, Chan Chan, you bite it. You should be done now. There we go. So he even fight back, but like this is starting game, they don't really have much moves, so it doesn't really, it's not really that threatening yet. Wow, that was some battling. Good battling there. I mean, you beat me, and it's, I'm, I'm pretty good. Oh, I guess I'll just play battle points. Whenever you win a fossil battle, you earn battle points. A battle that will build up battle points, your Vibrosaur will get stronger. It's not that just Vibrosaurs and you that fought, that fought either. The Vibrosaur, your reserves will get some battle points too. If, if you have Vibrosaurs that not want to be dealt with before fighting, stick them in the room with your reserves. Alright, see you around. So basically, your reserve in Pokemon terms is just building up and you share on them. Hi there, Drago. You're everywhere. <laughs> Since you're busy, you're everywhere. You seem to be everywhere looking after me. <laughs> Looks like you just like you arrived two five stars already. In that case, because you can learn you learn everything you can in the your trial dig site. I'll give you permission I'll give you permission to travel to a good to honest big site. Greenhorn Plains. Talk to the harbor re re receptionist press. To arrange visit to the to the dig site. As a level one fighter dragon, you can you can you clear you're clear to visit you're clear to visit Greenhorn Plains. I hope you find a lot of lots of fossils fossil rocks there. Good luck, Dragon. Don't 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 forget anything you want to excavate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's leave this place. Bye. I know you could go there anytime you want, just to go there, but you, why would you? She's just here, so you can go there anytime you want to go back. There's no need. But because of all the explanation and stuff, you know, sadly we didn't get much action today. We sadly have to tell, call it quits here. So the next time in Fossil Fighters, we'll continue, we'll, we'll just go to our new era, Greenhorn Plains. And get some new Vavasaurs, finally. Hopefully with hardly any tutorial stuff left. I'm sure of it. So I'll see you guys then.